Hello, I'm Michael, and this is Squirrel Guard. Um, how should you start gardening? You need to think about one thing and one thing only. The ground beneath. I know this is very hard to understand for the first time, but maybe a second time around. I'll do you even better. So, so get a big club and knock on the ground like and you get a jam in the noise there, how deep it goes. It's made it down there, but I put a marker here so you can understand what, what I'm talking about. Okay, so that's crazy, right? Well, we had to actually move the garden from to another place. So, it moved from South Carolina to uh, Florida. This is a sunny Florida. Panama City, as a matter of fact. But, um, two places. Okay. <laughs> you, uh, might, you might want to you might ask the question, you know, how could anybody be so stupid in their life to believe that you could move the one garden to another place anyway? Well, well, some of the richest people in the world don't have any secrets at all. Anyway, let's move on. Um, you know where the market it's not tied to anything, but it is tied to this. A fence post. Why would a jerk go along and put up the fence post? So, I've done this as a box, and this is recessed here. Recessed. You see? Okay, so, so here's the box, the edge of the box. Of course, the box, the box is over there, it's somewhere around, the, I got real lucky the other day. Anyway, you're not fooling anybody, buddy. You're not, we got a rope tied right there. You see the chain? Okay. Really carefully, you can just follow me right over there. I'll scare the living crap out of you. That's why somebody comes along and builds a fence post in the middle of nowhere. So, you can have a toll road. That's great. You know, just for a little while. Blah, blah, blah. Nobody's been here but, but us chickens. So, so the, f the first thing about squirrels or gardening is, of course, you have to, you have to, um, you have to plant some corn. <laughs> corn. Um, grows up, or you may want to grab your head and scream. Corn grows up. That's a very serious lesson that I can discuss uh, very candidly. Let's say, because it was very serious to me, you know. All right, all right, all right. well, let's continue. Um, let the corn grow. Let the corn grow. <laughs> and it grows and grows. But how does it grow? So, I planted some corn here. And you have to get down on your hands and eat. And have a, a bag of potato chips handy. And eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. And it's all so lovely. Until... Something brings it falling down. You know, and I got Indian burn up my fingers there. That's no big deal, huh? <clears throat> corn. So we want to plant some corn. Okay, first thing is a box. You can find a lousy used wood, you know, same design to plant a box. But it's made out of wood. And I'll save the painting for later, but that's also important, you know. 
um, you know, I've, uh, I've done some kind of chant in the morning with some coins like this. You know, you know, and you know, as it starts, the paint starts to talk to you. <laughs> but as the saying goes, you know, why don't you go eat some paint chips instead? But it looks so lovely. I'm just very impressed by the paint job. <gasps> Look at you. Paint chips. And we're going to plant tobacco here. And you have to bring them inside because the birds are going to eat these. And I'm watching this. <laughs> and I'm waiting to see if, if one of the birds will strike. I don't think they will this time. See how it's got to have a luster on there like that. Dirt. Let's just discuss dirt for a moment. If you drive around the neighborhood, you're going to find a bunch of strange things. Namely, you know, the neighborhood cats moving under there. But, hey, hey, he's got a big pile of used dirt somewhere, and you have to find it in the community. And then just put regular potting soil on top. Okay, so, listen, you know, George, George. George, see how everything's dressed up and he's got video cameras. <laughs> so, anyways, if you can duck out of the air as fast as you can, I, I don't have any Parliament cigarettes. You know, do you? I, the army does. King George. <laughs> so we have to start. Um, um, in a spot. You have to start in a spot. See, here comes a car right now, right? Toll road access over. That's kind of idiotic. Isn't it? <clears throat> so I've picked a spot. I've picked a spot to start my go. Okay, same idea as the seeds over there. Um, except that I'm growing some beans here. And you don't have to pick beans every day, but they do produce rather quickly. So, you know, uh, they got all kinds of stuff at the store for for decorate. Buy one of these. And, uh, and different kinds of stones they sell. The stone of it. Um, so, you have to start somewhere. And that, what an excellent place to start. More beans, you see, more beans, more beans. Beautiful beans. And I have a, um, a figurine here. This is um, a kingdom that is just over that ridge there. But, you know, in, unless you are a flagger and you have proper clearance, uh, you won't be able to understand that very well, would you? Unless they knocked on your door. My goodness. What happened to you? What? How can we discuss this? We can also discuss it that way because you see how it's sticking up there, growing like a plant. Plants help you breathe. Breathe. You can breathe through a tree in outer space. If you were in outer space, how can you breathe with a tree? You know, rather simply, um, George, you're in the right place. Mm. You know, Mr. Church may not have, you know, 
figurines or a statue of Mary or a statuette of Mary or the work that she's done. I don't know. It's always praising Mary for the work that she's done. It's for the poor, you know. I don't think it would be right to put it in my front yard. <laughs> but anyway, I would put this in my front yard. This is extremely, and I just go and collect a satch, and uh, you know, very carefully. You don't want to end up filthy from doing any of it, right? Remember what I said. There's no sense in putting up all those fence posts there. <laughs> so also, if you're scared of this place, you know. You you can read the wood grain, you can stop here, you know, uh, what, what, what did you say? Uh, he said this. <laughs> so, so, uh, so, remember, you put up a sort of a scarecrow there, but, but you're not fooling. So take a closer look at that. If you see that again in your lifetime, then that means it's good. <clears throat> okay, so look, you know, I can't stand it anymore. I just can't stand it anymore. And you better put something over your head. Or, you know, no more winds up hair, please. It just, it just, it looks bad. What you don't want is a bad looking squirrel garden. Okay, now that we have that straightened out, you know. Okay, well, we need to get this straightened out also, you know. You, you have to get your kingdom in, in order. Okay. I'm going to talk about three of them, but there's four of them. There's a fourth one. Just right away. <laughs> and it's, it's, it's horribly depressing. So, so if you could just get on with it, collect the wreath. <laughs> collect some of these wreaths and see how I'm, I wove them together. Well. The same sort of idea here that you can use used wood and then put an end cap on it. They're like, they're like that, that kind of design. So, you know, here, here I've used, you know, two of them. Like that. But that's just some, some regular two by fours and it's all lovely. So what do you want to plant in the squirrel garden? We want to accomplish one thing. We want to fish. And in order to fish, we need herb. We need hot pepper. But herbs, herbs are fine. You know what's funny is that this basil here seem to grow but the, um, the hot peppers don't grow so this is extremely difficult to accept that's a, an example of how to start the base on plant and these grow to be very tall and there's some California poppies there that grown and um, Onion set. So the onion sets grow year round, and um, you can leave them there. But a frost warning will completely destroy them. It will destroy. It will destroy. Them. It's awful. So, but the onions have, have been here. Like this, this onion here is about three months old. Three. And I'm talking about three months. 
So get a package of wildflowers. Grow the wildflowers, right? Okay, but we, we, what we really want to do is have a, a lasagna. Okay, and this is dangerous. Right? So you have to have your own ingredients for the lasagna, especially if you have a box up in, and a chain coming down over there. A chain. A chain. A nice little chain. Okay, so let's move on. Here's the way I planted my tomatoes in Florida, in the northern part of Florida. They seem to like to stay together. So, keeping that in mind, you see I have some flowers there and the tomatoes back. Um, they, they like to stay together. And I've, you, know, you have to straw. When they grow tall enough, they have to start strawing the ground as well. After it's been strawed, you have to stake them. I don't know if you can see the stake, but it's behind here like this. Because the wind damage is severe. And then start this uh, weaving here. According to your grain illustration. Okay, so how long did it actually take to get all the the dirt in here? It took a long time because you could actually fill the truck full of dirt, you know. And and they could dump it in the front yard. It's that much dirt, so. And run the van back and forth and back and forth until you get it right. Now that's a whole lot of dirt. It doesn't really seem like that this area here would take that much dirt, but it does. Alright, so I'm not talking about a cubic yard. I'm not talking about a cubic yard. Before you see any results at all, you know, we're building this garden slowly. And if you want to do it the squirrely way, um, you have to start on one side of it like this. You know, and let the corn grow. It's really amazing to me how fast it does grow, you know. So, uh, this, this doesn't have any special things on it at all. And they're all uh, staked because of the heavy winds. You have to pay attention, close attention to what you're doing because the weather will just take control of this place. And, you know, it's terrible, but um, then let the corn grow. And, and come out here and eat with your corn. You know, I I don't plan on doing it soon, but, but I think I will, you know. You can see the, there's some junk over here. You know, um... That, that's more than 32 bags of potting soil, in addition to more than a yard, a cubic yard of dirt. All right, so, so I love this. This is great, you know. Um, <clears throat> you have a bag of beans, and they're growing. And you can keep getting beans, fresh beans. Fresh beans. Like, you, you, you've just been out there for some time. And, um, I'd like to have some green beans from the grocery store.
but these are beings that are mine. And I'm sure they're mine because I moved my garden from somewhere from A to B. Now, um, you have to decide, you know, like a deep purple. You have to decide. You have to decide what to plant. But like I said, you know, going back and forth, back, okay. You'll have to decide what's the plan. Because I don't know if you want to hear this or not, but there's no equity in um, planning any of this. It's just all together very confusing. So, corn, beans, okay, start again, corn, and this is fun, isn't it? Why don't you just drink a whole bottle of tequila and decide for yourself? Okay, corn, beans, okay, blank, and the herb garden, basil, you can plant basil, and you can try, um, um, Dill. It's hard to tell the difference between a California poppy and a, and a dill weed. Dill weed, basil, cilantro, bean, corn. Okay, and before we get to the potatoes, <laughs> they're so easy to grow. Uh, I think they're yeah, beautiful. And you'd be surprised at how many potatoes actually are in the bag. But where did I get the bag from? Seed potatoes don't come cheap. You have to go buy the, the Lowe's or the Home Depot. And, uh, wait a minute, that's the phone. The phone's ringing in the garden. So, uh, let's just get rowdy right here real fast. Uh, there was a storm yesterday, and I have to, the three weeks, try to get out of this mess that I'm in. And it looks like it's very dangerous. So I, you know, I'm trying to think about, well, I want to plant corn. I want to plant basil. I want to go fishing. I want to have enough fish in the freezer. I want to have a nice little crab to eat. But there's a storm coming, and it's dangerous, and it's horrible, and there's wind, and it makes me feel terrible. But I'm going fishing tomorrow, and it's no big deal, and everything will just be fine. <laughs> so I'll need to just learn how to do this the best I can. I'm going to have to deal with what did I plant? Potato. You see, you see this logic. Potato. Are we waiting for the potato? Are we waiting for the onions? Do we want to make a nice onion soup? Anyhow, uh, uh, onion soup is delicious. It just it's delicious. And I'm waiting and I'm waiting and waiting. Here's another problem. You know, the paint. I'm starting to paint the walls and stuff. You have to deal with it. The plants just start talking to you anyway. <laughs> so, uh, what I did was this, you know, um, put that up there with the psychology experts. For a moment, I got a piece there. Okay, uh, hit the break. Piece there. Um, what do you do after you hit the break? You put the sun there and adjust my bandana. Oh, okay. I put the coffee in there and connect while the telephone's ringing. Okay, oh wow, the telephone's ringing. 
Well, that certainly changes my perspective. I don't know about yours, but I also have a dragon. Now, without getting too much into ancient Chinese, um, this is how they've done it. You can have my heart, you know, but don't, don't take my soul. You know, for that, we have to go to the South Pole. Okay, so, so, we stop right there, you know, you don't have any equity in the farm. You don't have any uh, ecology to speak of. But, <laughs> what we, what we, you, you don't have, you don't even have a girl. You, you know, five of my wives have already escaped to, um, to um, Kathmandu. But but <laughs> I've I've made a statue to every single one. <laughs> but this is how to start growing the um, the um, the squirrely way. So you start one, two, and then what happens is it draws it closer together and what they need is water so I start pouring the water over three bucks or four bucks no get the hose and be very careful with the hose and then create this dense sort of uh, area where it, where it's uh rich soil that's, that's done it and they're able to grow properly but I'll just go over this briefly how is how is that important to uh, the soil how is that important to how the roots are growing the bones ringing time of the week Always do it according to this plan here. And a nice little color there. Guess what color that is. It's anyway. So. Rough that up real bad until you get this. Again. And what's going to happen here is. Very dangerous. You take the dragon. Okay. And you're wiping it across <laughs> like a rake. And part of this area is exposed. So you can tell the difference between this and this. And you put the seeds right there. Okay, well that's great. You know, since Wanderlust is, is estranged to uh, uh, many, many different kinds of garden. But, um... We really want to get anywhere at all. You'd use one of those statues. What? No. Hit the brake. Hit the brake again. Okay, what, put, put the sun back in there. The sun, now. I can't, I can't think anymore. I'm stupid. So, this is what you want to accomplish uh, with your garden, then so be it. But um, uh, have a nice hot pepper and pick some beans. Um, um, but, but but my success has been with uh, growing them into bunch and uh, watering it regularly. It appears that to be that if you water them more. Then they grow more. These have less water. <laughs> and you see they're very small there. These have more water. The pumpkins are growing. So pumpkins, 
So I'll just go through it. A tomato, pumpkin, onion, tomato. Okay. Potato. I picked up a bell pepper from the door there. Habanero. Uh, Thai pepper. Habanero. Habanero. Potato. Uh, habanero. Tabasco. These are growing too. They just grow just like this. Tabasco. Uh, potato. Now, this is a Walmart potato. <laughs> this is a Walmart potato. But these are Lowe's potatoes. <laughs> it's a rare find, if you understand what I mean. <laughs> Lowe's, Walmart, Walmart. What about two different Walmart? This was two. This is one Walmart and this is the other one. And these are, are beans. You can pick them. See the beans there? There's the beans. And they grow very, very fast. Mm. Okay, the beans. <coughs> Basil. Dill. Parsley. Onion. B. More B. So let the corn grow. Okay, now listen, this is also important. Only one of these lights is probably good enough. You know? Um, I put a smaller one of But uh, they like to grow in bunch. Okay, so listen, you know, it's getting dark. You know what really makes me upset is there's only a handful of beans there. Plant more of them. Squirrel more. And you might just get somewhere one day. <laughs>